Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My homeworld was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed. I, I didn't. No, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Yes, what's on your mind? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? Oh, well, if it's an interrogation you wanted, why didn't you say so? All my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though you're welcome to try. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. True. Basta is as powerful as they say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway, it got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. Don't be ridiculous. You've more than proved yourself since the crash. We wouldn't have made it this far without you, but still. No. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested to transfer aboard happens to survive. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value ever, and I hate surprises. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have no reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Yes, what's on your mind? You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Maybe so, but I've been betrayed before by people that, well, it just won't happen again, that's all. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Well, you can stop wondering. I'm not. No, I don't want to talk about it. What I want is to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, 
I want to get underway. Yes, what's on your mind? Oh, you want to argue some more, is that it? So I've seen. If I were Malik, I'd be a bit nervous to have you on my tail. I just don't trust easily. And for good reasons, which are my own. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here it goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud to have served in the fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it, if you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? It's not that, it's... That's not what I mean. There, there, were, there were others, good, solid, trusted men who joined them. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done. But the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. I know, I'm... And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... No, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it. I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Not particularly. I, I guess it wouldn't hurt exactly either, though I, I, I don't know why you're so interested. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respected the most. Saul. You don't. I thought everyone did. But Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I argued with him, and he got angry, and he left. I never saw him again. Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. Even when things looked to be at their worst, I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. I don't know, maybe. He might have killed me if I tried, or I might have killed him. I was stupid, however, and I let him go. You know, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. No, no, it's not. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Have I been quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. Left out of the loop, you know, not being told anything strung along. It's really starting to irritate me. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. I'm rather curious to know what went on, and why they didn't keep you on Dantooine for training. Isn't that strange? And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they, don't they have to train you? A bond? What kind of bond? You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? <laughs> I have trouble believing that. You're a neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. No, I don't... I didn't mean that you weren't wanted, or that I want to go, it's just... Damn it! Well, I'll tell you this much, I'm not gonna wait around until I'm betrayed again. Yeah, we'll just see about that, won't we? Look, I didn't mean it that way, I want to get to Saul, not... No, no, forget it. 
It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's let's just get on with what we were doing. I um uh, I'm not very good at this. I I know I owe you an apology. Uh more than one probably. I was just so desperate to finally face Saul directly in the Battle of Terrace. And now the Jedi have us looking for these these star maps. I know this mission is important, it's just, I, I feel a bit useless. I, I mean, I can fight, sure, but I'm no Jedi. All this feels completely out of my league. It doesn't, I know. It, it's been a while since I've even had to think about that sort of thing. I just hate not knowing what's going on and feeling this... helpless. I mean, I, but I shouldn't have taken that out on you. I've been a royal pain in the backside, haven't I? No, I do worry about it. I've traveled the lanes more than once. I should know better than this. So, I'm sorry. Will you accept my apology? Done. Let's get underway then, shall we, partner? I already told you, he betrayed us all. Well, there, there is more to it. I'm, I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. It's just that... I... I don't talk about it very much, okay? I told you about my homeworld, Telos. Four years ago, Saul led the Sith fleet there and demanded its surrender. The planet refused, and Saul proceeded to devastate its entire surface. Millions died. I had a, a, a wife and a son on Telos. I thought they would be safe there, but my task force arrived too late to be of much help. We, we didn't have enough medical supplies. The colony was, was burning and the dying were everywhere. I remember holding my wife and screaming for the medics, but th th they didn't come in time. Of course not, how could you? I, I, mean, I had nothing left after that, really. I, I devoted myself to the fleet. Hunting Saul was my only purpose. I, I miss them, and I know killing Saul won't bring them back. And, I, and it won't make me happy again, but I, I have to do it. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to pay him back for what he's done. I have to. It's all I have left. She had courage, and... And she was stubborn. Could never talk her out of anything once she put her mind to it. And she hated it when I signed back onto the fleet at the start of the war. I had planned on, on leaving soon to join her. His name was Dustal, and I don't know what happened to him. The colony was a complete ruin, and we never found any trace of him. I made inquiries and followed the reports from Telos for years, but I stopped. Anyway, I hope that answers your questions. Let's, uh, let's continue with what we were doing. If you're ready to talk, then yes, so am I. I can't hate you. I tried. I wanted to hold you responsible for all the things you've done for my... for my wife, for Telos, for Dustal. But I can't. I got the revenge I always wanted when Saul died, but it hasn't brought me the peace that I thought it would. Despite whatever part of Revan is inside you, the, the darkness that must surely be there, it isn't who you are. That's why I can't hate you, why I don't want any more revenge. You don't have to be Revan. You can be so much more. Whatever the Jedi did to you, they gave you that chance. Whatever's happened up until this point, there's going to come a time very soon when you're going to have to make a choice, and there won't be any turning back. Well, then I hope I can save you from yourself. Karth! Karth Onesi, is that you? Jordo? It is you, isn't it? I knew it when I laid eyes on you. You old space dog. How have you been? I thought for sure you'd be fighting on some ship out there. I was. I crashed. <laughs> That's pretty rich. I can't imagine what it would take to keep you on the ground. Must have something to do with your friend here, eh? How's it going? Sure am. We joined the militia together back on Telos. That was a lot of years ago, of course. So what are you doing here, Jordo? Last time I saw you was on, uh, well, Telos, actually. Yeah, it's a shame about home. Telos still hasn't recovered. The family and I moved on, and I'm working for Zerka now. I didn't see you after... Uh, what I mean is, my condolences on your wife. I heard what happened. At least your boy made it through all right. My boy? Y you mean... Dustal? Yes, of course. I saw him at my last stop on Korriban, though he didn't recognize me. You didn't know he was there? No. 
Jordo, Dustal has been missing since the attack on Telos. Are you are you absolutely certain it was him? Yeah, I'd recognize Dustal anywhere. Positive. He's um, he's joined the Sith, Garth. What do you mean he's joined the Sith? There's an academy for the Sith on Korriban. He's a student there. I saw him suited up in their outfit and everything. Sorry, I thought you knew. No, no, I I didn't. Well, thanks for telling me, Jordo. Sure, no. No problem. Good to see you again, Karth. Hope everything works out with Dustal. Dustal? Dustal is alive. We, we have to go to the Korriban Academy and find him. Thank you. I, I, I just have to see him. I have to know what happened to him. All this time I thought he was... I mean, he must be a man by now. You take a wrong turn somewhere? Dustal, is that you? Oh, lovely. It's father. Figures you'd show up after all this time. How did you manage to get inside the academy? Cute. I wonder how interested Master Uthar would be to know just who he has in his web. Unless you've switched sides, father. But I doubt that. Just why are you here, father? Not for me, I hope. Couldn't you have gotten yourself blown up on some ship and spared us this reunion? Dustal, what, what, what are you talking about? I, I thought you were dead. Too bad you didn't still think that. Or did you really think I'd be happy to see you? Look, everyone, it's Father. Come to rescue me at long last. Sure, he may have left Mother and I to die on Telos, but that doesn't matter. No, I didn't abandon you. The task force just arrived too late. Telos was in ruins, and your mother... I, mean, I held her while... But I looked for you. I swear, I looked everywhere. Ah, oh, save it. You abandoned us long before. We were alone all during the wars. And even once you came back, you still didn't stay. I didn't have a choice. I was needed at... Yeah? Well, you were needed at home, too. You were needed when the bombing started, and I got captured. You know what? It doesn't matter. Not anymore. I have a new family now, a family that cares about me. I don't need you. The Sith? You can't mean that. No, the Sith killed your mother. The Sith destroyed Telos. So? You're the soldier, father. How many mothers have you killed? No, you've been brainwashed. The son I knew would never... You never knew me. You weren't even there to know me, so don't presume to tell me what I would or wouldn't do. I don't know what's been done to you, but you are coming with me out of here now. Touch me, old man, and I'll kill you. Get out! Get out of here before I tell the Sith that you're here. No, I won't accept that. I won't give up on him. Why not? You gave up on Mother and I a long time ago. We were just an afterthought next to your glory hunting. Stop it, Dustal. Stop it. I won't let you go on like this. What have they done to you? They gave me a life, old man. They gave me power. You? You didn't even give me so much as a second's notice. No, no. That's not true. I was there when you were younger, but I had to leave to fight. I fought for you, for your freedom. No, you didn't. You fought for yourself, for glory. Well, the Sith can do that, too. We learn to fight and to kill. You want to see what I've learned, father? No. Dustal, don't. I don't... Too late, old man. You should have left when you had the chance. I did all I could, and I... I failed you. Yes, what's on your... Th there's nothing to talk about. I, I failed my son, just as I failed my wife. I thought I'd ever found him. I, I just can't believe he's dead. I'm not... You should have stopped him. You should have done something to prevent this. Why didn't you want to? You knew how important finding Dustal was to me. You, you helped others. Why not him? I mean, why not me? You could have, but you're only partly to blame. I'm to blame for all the rest. I wish we hadn't come. I, I, I wish I'd never found him. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. And I'm sorry I ever met you. I, no, I didn't mean that. Please, maybe it would be better if we just continued with the mission. I want to take my mind off this. Saving the galaxy is what's important now. My son, I, I can mourn my son later when we're done. So let's just go. Back already? So tell me, Father, where's this proof you promised? I have a data pad I want you to look at. You knew someone named Celine? Celine? She's the one who convinced me to come to the Academy with her. Why? Where did you get this? Look at it. It belongs to Master Uthar, doesn't it? Yes, it's his, but it 
He told me he he said that she'd been lost on a mission in the valley. This this says that they killed her because she was hindering your progress. Superiority at any cost, Dustal. There's your evil. Or can you live with that? No. No, I can't. I I had no idea. They lied to me. Well, there's the son I remember. Now will you leave here? I no. You go do whatever you have to, Father. I have some other friends here. I have to warn them what's going on. And maybe I can, you know, look around here and find out some more information from the inside. Something that might help you. I don't suppose there's any way I could talk you out of that, is there? I mean, you're not gonna do anything halfway. Sounds familiar. I guess it does. I'm proud of you, Dustal. You aren't hanging on to a lie after you see it for what it is. Not everyone could do that. Maybe after this is all over we can talk. I'm still not sure about us, but I'll listen. Maybe we can get back to where we should have been. Well, I'd like that. I'll go back to Telos when this is over. You can find me there. Goodbye, father. Goodbye, son. Good luck. I think so. If he's anything like he used to be, Dustal hates to be tricked. There's no way he'll let the Sith trick him again. As for whether or not he'll be my son again, I, I don't know. He's so full of anger and hate. I wasn't expecting him to be like this. Well, maybe we can work it out. I, I hope so. I, I guess I'll have to wait and see. Thanks, by the way, for all your help.